Today, boys and girls, we're having a look at the Siemens EQ6 Plus Fully Automatic Express Espresso Machine, not Espresso. Maybe you've never worked a coffee machine, maybe you wonder should you buy one or is it just uh, easier to just mix your instant coffee powder with boiled water and there's your coffee. What could be cheaper and easier? Well, if you have gotten uh, curious as to what a coffee machine is and how it works, then this video is for you. Let's have a look at this machine and we're gonna make ourselves a cup of coffee with it. So, what does it say on the box? Well, it says Siemens. Picture of the machine, obviously. EQ, is that EQ6 or EQ.6 Plus? Fully automatic espresso machine. Espresso, not espresso. Uh, there it says Brita water filtration for Siemens coffee machines. Uh, here on the side is another picture of it with two cups. Eye aroma system, eye aroma system, the perfect interplay for the perfect coffee enjoyment right at home. On this side it says 19 bar EQ6 Plus, what's that, S500 morning haze, not sure what that is. Here's your coffee machine, what does it say here, coffee select display. Favorites, you can program favorites, it seems. One touch double cup. Brita water filtration for Siemens coffee machines. Removable brewing unit. Aroma double shot. And there's your barcode and a lot of stuffies. Yes, that's all very interesting. But of course, the proof is in the pudding, or coffee in this case. So let's go make ourselves a cup of coffee with this machine and we can see if it's easy to work and what does it taste like. Let's go! Now your water goes in there. The coffee goes in there, as you can see. And now we turn it on, there. It boots up. Okay. Takes a little while to boot up. Drip some water to rinse, I suppose. And oh, now it's giving us a message. Descaling necessary after approximately 15 cups. Okay, seems it's gonna need a lot of descaling. But I think it should work now, let's see. Now here on the screen, there you set it. Oh, if you're gonna make one or two cups, because it has two nozzles, so you can use two cups at a time, or you can just use one. Flat white is what it's set on now. Here you set very strong or double shot strong. Double shot strong plus ground coffee. Very mild, mild, regular, strong. Let's use strong. Here you select the size, large, small, medium, large. Yeah, large is only about one cup, so we're gonna do that. Menu, what is this? Is that profiles? Please first create favorite in menu. Oh, okay. Menu. Cleaning and care, set cup size, coffee milk ratio, and so on and so forth. What is this? Oh. Water hardness, automatic shutdown. Coffee temperature. That we can have a little bit warmer. Oh, max normal high. Yeah, oh, it's already on max. Okay, yeah, let's just go back. We're gonna make a flat white. What is this? Oh, this is espresso. Espresso, what is that? I don't know what. Coffee, cappuccino, latte macchiato, coffee latte, milk froth flat white. I think we'll make a flat white now. So we put our cup down there. Now for flat white, I suppose it's because there's milk in it. So we're gonna take this little straw thing, bring our milk closer, open the milk, put this straw thing in there, 
so that it goes into the milk. Yeah. And now we're gonna start. Start. Oh, did it start now? Ah, there we go. Now, first half is the coffee, second half is the milk. should start momentarily. It's still buzzing. Oh, there it goes, you see on the screen. It's like those old-fashioned loading screens or download screens or whatever. Our coffee is dripping in the cup. And it's finished. Alright, now the second half is gonna be the milk gonna suck up the milk and then spew froth milk down into the cup. I think it's already sucking it. Ah, yes, there we go. Sort of a nice frothy milk. Okay, we're halfway there. Almost done. And it is done. Dispensing almost complete, please wait. Okay, it wants a descaling. We will get to that. I don't yet know how to descale it. That shall be another video someday. Okay, and our coffee is finished. Nice. Now, some people like to drink it just like this, but for me it is too cold. So I'll put it in the microwave for another 20 seconds, then the temperature is right for me. Alright, now we just need to rinse it, so we're gonna switch it off. There's the button. And now it says, place empty glass under outlet. Place tube in glass and start. So let's do that. Put an empty glass under the outlet. And we'll take our tube out of the milk. I'm going to just wipe it with a paper towel first. Because the outside is still full of milk. Oh, now it seems we took too long, so I don't know what it's doing now, if it's rinsing or what. Should we put the pipe in there now? I think so. Let's put it in there. Oh, now it's switched off without rinsing. Let's just wipe up all this milk spill. But now, yeah, what did he do? He didn't rinse the inside of the pipe. But anyway, the idea, let's just switch that on again. The idea is that it rinses this pipe by sucking up some water so the inside of the pipe can also be clean. Now it's buzzing and doing something. Uh, rinsing already. It still wants its descaling. But now if we switch off, what does it tell us? Oh, it just switches off. Yeah. Now, okay, it seems we're gonna have to make another cup so I can show you the rinsing of this little milk pipe. So, let's just make a very small coffee. Put it down. And... We're gonna make it just like ground coffee, small, and start. Oh, but now I selected flat white again. Oh, okay, but we do want, want to do that. So yeah, let's just put the little black pipe back into the milk for now.
Yeah, you see ground coffee is almost clear. It's almost no color too. Anyway, now it's sucking the milk in. The milk is going into the cup. Oh, don't waste all my milk now. Yeah, that's a nice and frothy milk, you see. Look at that. All right, that's all done. Now let's not take too long again. Oh, now it says, please empty drip tray. The drip tray, how to empty it? You just take it out like this. See, there's your water and your coffee ground grindings or groundings or whatever. So this just needs to be emptied. So we'll pour that into the sink. I right, just need to take this out first, otherwise it's gonna fall. Okay, the drip tray is empty. Let's just throw out this coffee, whatever you call it. Just gonna throw that in the bin for now. Uh, not quite empty, but it shall do. All right, we put back our drip tray. And now, this time, let's not take too long. Take this out. I'm trying to do everything now with one hand because I'm filming with the other hand. That's why everything took so long. Let's take our empty glass, put it there. Uh, put this little pipe in there. Let's turn it off. Now it's saying to place empty glass under outlet, place tubing glass and start. Yeah, all right, now it's gonna pour some water down into the glass and then uh, that rinsed out the milk out of the, these nozzles. And now this is also gonna suck up some water, I suppose, to rinse this pipe system. Yeah, I think it's sucking in some water now. Rinsing of milk system almost complete. What's it doing now? Oh, still rinsing. And it seems it's finished. What now? Oh, it switched off. Yeah. Seems that's all done then. Let's just put this back into its little hole. And yeah, we can just throw this out. And let's just replace the lid on the milk and put the milk in the fridge. And there's our delicious coffee and our ground coffee which we had to make. Looks like a nice frothy milk on there actually. I think I might just add a little bit of coffee just to flavor it because this seems like it has no flavor. But yeah, this one is going to be pretty nice. I'll just warm it up a bit for me. Because I like it a little bit warmer than what the machine is making it. So let's taste it. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Alrighty, so that was a pretty nice cup of coffee. In conclusion, what do I think of the Siemens, what's it called again? Siemens EQ6 Plus coffee machine. Yeah, I'd say it works pretty easily. Easy to work and, uh, and the coffee tasted pretty good also. I wonder what the other coffees will taste like, the uh, cappuccino and the whatever else there was on the machine that you could select. But maybe we'll do that in another video. Seems easy enough to maintain, I don't like that descaling thing, I've never done that before. I wonder how long that takes or how much work it is, probably not too much. It just seems a bit like a hassle when you get to your coffee machine and you want to make yourself a cup of coffee and now it gives you that message, descaling need it or whatever it's not really what you want to see but what you're gonna do please remember hit the like button and the subscribe button below if you're watching this on youtube and let's talk over a cup of coffee or a cup of tea or something else about something else again next time i'll see you around